Hey you guys, so I wanted to show you how I make these face cutouts um, with pickmonkey.com. I usually do this for my Facebook banners, um, you know, 20 or my training banners and challenge group banners. So um, I make it um, on pickmonkey. So I just want to show you how to do it really quick. Um, so I'm going to use this picture right here. I'm actually making a Facebook banner for Super Saturday because I'm going to be hosting one. So um, you're going to go to pickmonkey.com, click on that, and then you're going to click on edit. So you're going to go right there and click on edit. Um, and I have that picture saved to my desktop, so I'm going to pull it up. Um, then I'm going to go down here to this uh, frames, and right up here it says shape cutout. So I'm going to click on that. And then um, it comes up with a circle, but you can actually use any of these different ones. And you can change the shape as well, or the size, so you can make it smaller or bigger. Um, if you make it too big, when you go to save it and you go to pull it up on another picture, it's going to have these, like, it's going to be cut off. So make sure the picture, you know, um, the full circle is on there. And so then I'm going to save this and just close circle. I'll pick it. Um, I'll save it as that. I always end up. I always save it as like the last word is circle. That way, if I'm going to look for other circles that I've done to put on a picture, I know where to find it. It's really easy. Um, social media. Okay, so then I'm going to go to PickMonkey.com again, and I'm making. I'm going to hover over design and click on Facebook cover. And then I'm going to go over here to this butterfly because I want to pull up that picture that I just saved. So I'm going to go to the butterfly and click on your own. And then find it, just face circle. And there it is. And so I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to make it big. Sometimes like I'll do, just to kind of add some whatever to it. I'll do another circle and then I want to make I want to say I want to make this circle the same color as my shirt right there so I'm going to click on this and then click on this little like dropper and I'm gonna put it over the color that I want so if like I want it to be this purple color I'm just gonna hover over this and then find the purple color and then let's see I'll put it here and okay do you see how it moved behind there all you have to do is right click on it so I just right clicked on this big circle I'm gonna send that to the back and I'll put this right down send this over okay there we go um, if I now say for instance if I wanted to make this whole thing that color there's a couple ways I can do this. I can take this, um, what I did was go to geometric again and click on that and then I pull it up here. I cover the whole thing. I double or I um, right click and do send to back and then I can do the same thing and change the color. So I just clicked on this, click on the dropper change it to purple and there you go the whole thing is purple so you can kind of there's so much you can do with pick monkey that I just love it so much okay and so um, then I'm gonna put some font on here actually before I do that let's go back to the butterfly going to kind of make this look a little bit more interesting. Oh, what I did right there to make it two was I double, I right clicked on it and then I said duplicate overlay and I just, it adds another one. So I'm going to delete. Delete. Okay. And then let's see. I think I'm going to make this, uh, let's do white. And then, do you see how it's like over my face? I'm going to send the back. Send the back. Okay. Um, send. 
and let's do send backward. Yep, that's what I want to do. Send backward. That's just going to put it behind your face. So there you go. Okay, so now I want to do some font. So I'm going to do, let's do super. Now, there's two different ways you can do font. There's ours, which are like kind of like the ones that you, you know, are like the stock fonts. And then you can click on yours. And a lot of these are ones that I've downloaded from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Um, so I've downloaded like a lot of these. And I really like um, just having a wide range of fonts. So let's see. Only Alabama. Super Saturday, um, Super Saturday, Tulsa Font, um, just for the purpose of time, I'll just do this. Saturday. Um, anyway, I'm going to add a couple more things on here, but that's the gist of it. That's kind of how I make those. They're really quick and it takes some time. I've been doing playing with PicMonkey for like two years now. So hopefully this will give you an idea. Um, by the way, you can always, you know, um, change the font of this, uh, the color of this to make it whatever you want. Um, so just play around with it, but that is how I make my circles. Hope this helped. See ya.